Hello friends, if you were to ask me to name a reality show that everyone should or must watch, I would definitely recommend Shark Tank. It's a show I love the most. Shark Tank is where people come with their startup ideas and plans, presenting them to the judges of the show, who are self-made millionaires and billionaires known as the sharks. The contestants pitch their ideas and business plans to the sharks, and if the sharks like their ideas, they invest lakhs and crores of rupees in exchange for a percentage of their companies. Watching this show is one of the best ways to learn about business. On this show, many contestants arrive with no money, in desperate need of funds to start or grow their businesses. Watching Shark Tank dispels the myth that you always need a lot of money to create a successful business. If your idea and plan are solid and you take action and achieve results, you can start your business without investing your own money using a powerful concept called other people's money or OPM. In this context, OPM refers to funding your business with money from investors like the Shark Tank judges, angel investors, venture capitalists or even crowdfunding platforms available today. Now let's talk more about Shark Tank and why it's a valuable resource for learning about business. However, the main reason for this message is to share a book summary from Damon John, one of the popular sharks on the show titled The Power of Broke. Damon John started with just $40 and became a self-made multimillionaire. In this book, he teaches that not having money or access to opium isn't necessarily a disadvantage. It can be a disguised opportunity. I will now share some useful and important points from this book to explain how and what kinds of businesses you can start without money. Let's get started. Number 1. Money Problems Suppose there is a man who wants to start a fancy hat business and he has a lot of money. So what does he do? He hires a designer to create a fancy, high quality hats and purchases an expensive shop in an upscale market where many affluent people live. His target audience is the high class crowd. So he asks the designer to create a large quantity of hats hoping to get a discount due to the bulk order. After all this, he invests heavily in marketing campaigns. However, despite all his efforts and investments, he doesn't see good results or profits, leading to the closure of his business. Now let's consider another man who wants to enter the same business but lacks the initial capital. Instead of searching for designers, he searches for good hat designs online. After browsing through various designs, he decides to create a fancy hat design himself using free online tools and by practicing extensively. Later, he uploads his designs on social media and different websites. Since he doesn't have money for a physical shop, he attempts to sell his hats through social media platforms. What he discovers is that his hats are most popular among students compared to the upscale crowd. Therefore, he starts targeting students online and produces hats based on their online demand. As a result, he begins to see profits in his business quickly. Gradually, his business starts growing originally without significant investments in marketing. You might be wondering why the first person didn't take these steps. Well, he certainly could have, but he didn't. Often, people who have money tend to rely on it as their primary tool. In contrast, individuals without financial resources use their creativity and intelligence as their primary assets. The author Damon John, based on his extensive experience working with thousands of startup entrepreneurs, observes that having too much money can lead to dependency and laziness, increasing the likelihood of making wrong decisions. Conversely, having limited funds encourages creative thinking and problem-solving skills, which are invaluable assets in business. Therefore, consider your lack of funds not as a weakness, but as a source of strength. Utilize your intellect and pursue something you are passionate about. Thanks to the internet, you can accomplish almost anything with limited resources. Next, number 2. Product but leader. After watching this video, many people may wonder what kind of business they can start without any money. The simple and straightforward answer is that today you can initiate numerous service based businesses on various websites without the need for any initial investment. Moreover, you can even establish product based businesses. Damon John emphasizes that in any business, the most crucial factor is the leader, that's you. While there were many websites before Facebook, Facebook's success can be attributed to having a great leader behind it. Similarly, companies like Apple, Amazon and Tesla offer excellent products and services. But what truly propelled them to success was having exceptional leaders. The points I am sharing with you today will help you become a great leader. Regardless of the type of business you choose, these principles will guide you towards success even if you don't have much money. For example, in Shark Tank, many startup entrepreneurs have fantastic ideas and products. However, if the shark sense that the leader behind the product lacks the necessary skills or potential, they often choose not to invest. This underscores the importance of being a great leader. Therefore, strive to become a remarkable leader who relies on creative problem solving rather than always depending on financial resources. 
Next, number three, authenticity speaks. Even if a person doesn't have conventional good looks, having money might still attract them a beautiful life partner. You have probably observed this phenomena. Similarly, a girl who dresses attractively and wears makeup may find her good husband. But consider this, relationships built primarily on money or physical attractiveness, are they likely to be strong and authentic? What happens if that wealthy man becomes poor or if that woman's appearance changes without makeup? Will the relationship remain the same? Well, something similar can be said about many businesses, as Damon John pointed out. Damon John suggests that businesses primarily driven by money are akin to a body relying on steroids. Such businesses often have a lower chance of long-term success. This is because people with limited financial resources tend to run their businesses with passion and authenticity. This authenticity builds trust with their customers and strengthens their customer base. In today's world, customers are savvy and can easily spot when a company is trying to deceive them. As a result, extensive marketing campaigns often fall short in comparison to the impact of social media influencers. Social media influencers can attract more customers with a single video because they are typically authentic and their viewers trust them. Therefore, it is crucial for you to remain authentic and engage in a business that you strongly believe in. When you do, people will naturally gravitate toward you and develop a genuine connection, whether you are in the video business or selling t-shirts. Next, number 4. Stay Hungry Gigi Butler started her journey as a housekeeper, cleaning other people's homes. However, she had an insatiable hunger for success. Recognizing that her cupcakes were far superior to those in the market, she decided to venture into baking and selling cupcakes. There were just one problem, she lacked the funds to start her business. Undeterred by this setback, she approached banks for a loan. Unfortunately, her request for a cupcake business loan left many bankers in fits of laughter, as they couldn't fathom why anyone would need a loan for cupcakes. Despite facing numerous rejections, Gigi refused to give up. Finally, one bank presented her with an unconventional offer. She could withdraw $100,000 through a credit card. It was a substantial risk and her home was on the line, but she accepted it because she was driven by an unrelenting hunger for success. Gigi's daily routine reflected her dedication. She would wake up at 4 am and head to her shop, where she worked tirelessly. During her lunch break, she would transition to housekeeping work in other people's homes. After completing her housekeeping duties, she would return to her shop to bake cupcakes. This grueling schedule continued for several years. Eventually, Gigi's perseverance paid off. She expanded her business and opened over 100 shops across America, becoming a multi-millionaire. Many people can bake excellent cupcakes, but not everyone achieves success because they lack that inner hunger and passion for doing whatever it takes to succeed. Therefore, cultivate that hunger within you. It will not only provide you with the courage and strength to overcome financial obstacles, but also tackle any other significant challenges that arise when building a successful business. Next, number 5. Do research. Damon John emphasizes that in today's business landscape, you will often find that nothing entirely new is happening. For instance, in the past, people used pigeons to share messages. But today, technology has given us Twitter and email for communication. Libraries were the traditional source of knowledge, but now we have Google Chrome. Socializing once meant going out, but now we have numerous social media platforms. Nearly everything existed before, but people found new ways to use these concepts in business. Just as others have done, you can research and identify old concepts that you can present in innovative ways to build your business. For instance, there were many coffee shops before Starbucks, but Starbucks conducted research and recognized the need for a space where people could work and have meetings without feeling uncomfortable. They created stores with this in mind, which led to their tremendous success. Similarly, Starbucks tailored its offerings in China to cater to the preference for tea over coffee. To make informed decisions, don't rely solely on feedback from relatives or close associates. Seek feedback and conduct research with your actual customers as they provide genuine insights. Doing research and gaining knowledge about your product, market and customers will help you avoid unnecessary investments. Additionally, seek out mentors and learn from experts in your field. This not only enhances your knowledge but also expands your network which can be valuable in addressing financial challenges. That concludes today's insights from the book The Power of Broke. If you are facing financial constraints and want to start a business, consider reading this book. If you found this knowledge valuable, please comment and share any obstacles you are encountering in your business. Share this video with your friends and family and subscribe for more useful videos like this every day.